When it really hits home, kickoff time is almost upon us. A colossal game featuring two teams that truly deserve to be on the big stage. We know they can deliver, but will they do it with the pressure on and when it matters most? Drama guaranteed, and it's live coming up next on EA TV. Sussex by the sea, always an inviting prospect. Welcome everyone to the Amex Stadium. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Brighton versus Arsenal. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. The initial 11 today for the hosts. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. And so they start at 11 for Arsenal. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the main forward, Gabriel Jesus! Well, he's been ruled offside. Well, opposing defences always have to pay attention when Arsenal provide the opposition. I say that, Stuart, based on their wonderful goal-scoring record. Well, away from home, their ability to create chances and score goals has been fantastic. Oh, big opportunity! Can they keep it out? And putting pay to the danger. Kaoru Mitoma. Mitoma. Making progress. And teammates to play it to. Can he make it count? And there it is. 1-0. Their efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. Well, just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly. He gets beyond his marker and he keeps his composure. It's an excellent finish. Arsenal restart the game then and they have work to do as they try to wipe out that last goal Martin Odegaard could be doing a fine job of protecting the ball Gabriel Jesus and will it be the leveller ball is loose and it goes at the second time of asking, and the keeper feels hung out to dry. Well, when you see this again, I think the goalkeeper's very unlucky. He makes a good initial save, but the ball comes off of him, rebounds straight to an attacker, and the finish is excellent. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Pascal Gross. Van Hecke. Here's Gross. Joel Feldman. Good run, very much in control of the situation. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Oh. 
Declan Rice. Martinelli. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Dunk. On to Gilmore. It's with Welbeck. Oh, couldn't quite find his teammate. Martin Odegaard. And he read it well, intercepting it. Joel Feldman. Dunk on the ball. Billy Gilmore. Pervis Estupignan. A very effective challenge put in. There will be one minute added on at the end. Pascal Gross. Well, the referee blows the whistle, and that is going to be all for the first 45 here at the Amex. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Saka. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Gilmore. Mitoma. Well back. Moving the ball really well here. Well, trying to take the time, but not enough care on the ball. Havertz. Kai Havertz. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. It will be Arsenal's corner as they try to nudge in front in this game. And the short option preferred. William Saliba. And still looking to get the shot away. And the referee doesn't hesitate. That is a spot kick. Well, no card, just a warning and a fair few protestations. Well, not every foul is a yellow card. I think the referee is right here. This to give them the advantage. The keeper going in the right and saving it and a substitution in the offing well they're going for the short one plays it back can they nudge in front a good and fair challenge. Joao Pedro. Mitoma. And now with Estupinian. Mitoma. Arsenal regaining possession. Gabriel. Rice with it. Ben White Gabriel Jesus Arsenal have given it away 20 minutes remaining 
Joel Feldman. On to Gross. Pascal Gross. Now, let's see what they can do here. A fine reading of the situation. Gabriel Martinelli. And the decision offside here. Time for a change then. Just 15 minutes remaining. Saka. Rice with it. Jorginho. No panic, just passing. Oh, danger here. Chance to take the lead. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. A perfectly taken corner could make all the difference in this game. This one for Arsenal. Substitution for Arsenal. Coming off so deciding pitch, to make a personnel change at this juncture. To be replaced by number 19, Leandro Trossard. Short corner it is. Good looking cross. Stopped a surefire goal. And Arsenal have won the corner as they try to take the lead. <laughs> Going short. Saka. Can he put it in? Marvellous anticipation. Arsenal's corner late in the game. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Oh, can you believe it? With so little time left, surely that will be the winner. Amazing scenes here. Well, here's another look at it. Certainly, delivery into the box couldn't have been any better, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Pascal Gross. And a big chunk of added time here, a minimum of five minutes. Fatty. Well, these fans are right behind the team here. Can they get the equaliser, though? So there it is, the final whistle and a satisfying outcome for Arsenal and the many fans around the world. What did you think of their performance as a whole? Well, it was close, but as we mentioned before the game, their ability to score is second to none. And even though they weren't at their very best today, they still came up with two important goals.